be sure to subscribe for more content. What is up ladies and gents? Welcome to the Big BC Finance channel and I hope you're having a very lovely day today. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about Dogecoin, what has happened to it recently and where we predict the price to go to in the near future with some key price levels and some trades we're looking to make. So be sure to stay tuned for all of that. And of course, if you appreciate the daily analysis on this channel and you're one of the 86% of people that watch these videos that are not yet subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you like this content. So. Without further ado, let's get those annotations back on the screen here. And what do we see here on Dogecoin? Well, if well, what we got here is a region where things are looking extremely calm at the moment. Of course, we're still waiting for events from the FTX fallout to transpire in terms of what regulation is going to happen with cryptocurrency, what assets FTX holds, and will it be dumped onto the market? I think a lot of investors are cautious about this, and this is why we're seeing such sideways movement here on Dogecoin. Of course, when we're moving sideways like this, and there's not a lot of volatility, so only small green and red candles and low volume down here, this shows us that we're in an equilibrium between buyers and sellers. There's not much movement, and buyers nor sellers are taking the lead on the action on the price here so things are very settled and very calm and typically when it's like this for too long we do see a large price move to come out of it and so we could say this is like a calm before the storm and the longer the calm is the larger the storm when prices finally do start to break out of this triangle that we have here so as you can see we've got this this orange support on dogecoin we have this orange resistance here and basically at some point we're going to see dogecoin price having to choose which way it's going to go is it going to break through this resistance here or is it going to break through the support like this for example so of course if we break below the support then in theory we should go a lot lower because we've lost the support that's held the dogecoin price up since the ftx fallout there but if we go through the resistance then we should be heading in a more bullish direction and of course if we do that, then the price targets from last time are still the same. I'd expect this 9.5 cents to be our first price target. And if we can continue to head through that, then this triangle here tells us that we should head to around 10.5 cents. But if we get to this region here, I do think we're going to hit this resistance zone up here at 11 cents on Dogecoin. So this is what I'm looking out for in terms of any sort of breakout to come out of Dogecoin. Of course, at the moment, things... And looking at the trusty RSI and MACD down here, we can see things are fairly consistent with what we are seeing. The MACD is kind of showing this upwards trend line if we connect the lows on the MACD, just as we are seeing it on the price as well. And the same with the RSI here on the one hour chart. So on the shorter time frame, we are seeing the, we are seeing bullish supports here on both the RSI and MACD, which is a good sign because we're not seeing any divergences. And on a longer time frame, we're seeing a similar pattern, um, some sort of bullish support kind of carrying the MACD and the RSI over the longer time frame. So things looking fairly good with the RSI and MACD. Of course, the deadline for this triangle, if it is to be in play, is on Sunday as well. So that's two days time. So if we see prices come near the support or the resistance, we're going to be keeping our eyes peeled because if we see something like this, for example, where volume starts to spike up and we see an increase in momentum, so an increase in red candles, then that will be our trade. And of course, the same applies if it comes up to the resistance here and goes above it with a lot of volume and momentum. So we are keeping our eyes peeled on what the price does of Dogecoin as it approaches the support and resistance. I'll be updating my trading view if I do make a trade. So be sure to follow me on there. The link is in the description below. And on top of this as well, we're keeping an eye on the news particularly on Elon Musk and Twitter. And right now he's made the headlines once again because he's managed to fire quite a lot of his workforce off. So earlier this week, he put out a letter saying that we need everyone working at Twitter to be working extra hours, etc., etc. And obviously a lot of people don't like this. Not everyone can work 60, 70 hours a week like Elon Musk does. So a lot of people did end up leaving Twitter and today he's closed his headquarters. And as a result, we have things trending like goodbye Twitter on Twitter. And there I saw RIP Twitter. And these were the top trending keywords here on Twitter. Everyone talking about how Twitter could shut down or there could be some sort of sabotage from former employees something bad happens to Twitter and it shuts down. And of course, if something bad were to happen to Twitter, then by the same prospect that raised the price of Dogecoin in the first place, we could see that plummet the price of Dogecoin. So, you know, if Twitter, if anything happens to Twitter, even if it's just some downtime for a couple of hours, we could see that reflected here in Dogecoin as well. We can see price continue to head down. But at the same time, if some good news comes out of it, I can't think of any good news off the top of my head to come out of it. But if we do see some good news, um, 
pop up then we should see dogecoin price continue in an upwards direction like this so you know i'm monitoring that twitter news uh i'm on twitter a lot so basically i do see the keywords that are trending and right now we're seeing a lot of goodbye twitter and we're seeing a lot of twitter related keywords trending there so that's another thing i'm keeping my eye on and additionally to that we want to ch we're checking what bitcoin is doing because as you saw in my last video dogecoin and bitcoin are very highly correlated at this time because of course both of them suffered from the ftx uh, fallout and therefore the price movements and therefore the price movements in bitcoin and dogecoin have been very similar because they've been related to the broader crypto market so you know if bitcoin makes a move in an upwards direction we should see that bullish bias there in dogecoin as well it doesn't have to be an exact match of bullish price action but we're going to see a bullish bias in dogecoin so you know if bitcoin continues this upward trend like this for example into the 19,000s, which would be a breakout of this triangle here then we should see some bullish movements on dogecoin as well in fact if we do see Bitcoin head to 19,000, I would expect a breakout of this triangle and moves in the upwards direction like this. And right now the question really is, is this a real breakout or are we seeing some sort of fake out? So basically we had this triangle, we had the price go through this triangle with an increase in momentum. So this candle, very convincing candle there. Uh, and of course we did see a slight increase in volume. However, prices come back down, which is not that unnormal. Um, it looks it could just be a retest of our resistance so a retest would mean that the price comes back down to test this resistance as a support and then continues on to its intended price target and i do think that could be happening but also we want to be prepared for the fact that bitcoin could continue to head down further throughout the day and of course, if Bitcoin is to continue heading down like this in this direction, then it's going to be a lot harder for Dogecoin to make any bullish price moves in this direction. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's still possible for Dogecoin to pump whilst Bitcoin is dumping, but it's going to make it a lot harder. And the odds are going to be slightly more against the Dogecoin if Bitcoin continues to head in the downwards direction. So this is something we want to monitor. We have seen a breakout from a triangle and we want to see if Bitcoin is able to continue into the upwards direction. Like I say, the intended target of this triangle here for Bitcoin is in the 19,000s. So if this triangle really does end up playing out, then we should see Dogecoin follow suit in the upwards direction as well. So pretty exciting stuff on that front. Additionally, I want to see what Bitcoin is doing within this trading range as well. So basically Bitcoin over the past week, so since pretty much Friday, the 11th of November, so a week ago, we've seen Bitcoin in a very narrow trading range here as well. So this is another thing that we've been monitoring. We did see the price go below briefly, but then it came straight back up. Um, so basically, this is quite a solid trading range. And in the same way that we're seeing, you know, a calm before a storm, basically, when we see the price do something like this and start to break out of this trading range here, we should see large price movement and large volume. So if Bitcoin is to continue going up, I'd be looking at what happens when it gets to the top of this trading range. Are we going to bust through that $17,000 mark uh, with a lot of momentum and volume? I don't want to look for, I don't want to see something where the price is moving sideways and just really shy going above that 17000 mark there. We want to see a break with a lot of momentum and volume in order for me to confirm that this triangle is probably in play here on Bitcoin. So that's kind of what i'm monitoring of course just to touch on the broader stock market as well things are looking a little bit shaky on that it does look like we've just completed our bull run and if we continue to go down on the stock market today so looking particularly at the s p so if i just get that on the screen briefly for you guys we can see that we've had some sort of chart topping pattern here on the s p so that looks like a head and shoulders to me price came down thursday after some economic data and it looks like we have had some sort of retest of this neckline but if Friday is a bad trading day, then that to me will confirm this bearish trend that the S&P is going to be following. And if it is indeed following that bearish trend, the next target down for me would be around 340, 330 on the S&P there, just as it has been doing over the past. So something like this, for example. And of course, if the stock market is doing this, then it's going to be particularly difficult for Bitcoin to be super bullish, although not impossible by any means. And again, it's going to add a slightly more bearish bias on Dogecoin as well. So, very, so right now, it's important to see what the macroeconomic situation is doing to the stock market, whether we're in a bear market rally or if we're heading down in the stock market. And of course... It's important to see what happens with this FTX news and this Twitter news, as well as what Dogecoin does with this triangle. So quite a lot of stuff ahead for Dogecoin, a lot of things to consider when talking about the Dogecoin price. But, you know, there's still a very, very bullish aspect to 
what could come for Dogecoin. Of course, we've gone past this downwards trend line, which is a very, very good sign. We've come out of this extremely bearish trend that we've had here. And now we're moving in a more sideways trend. So it looks like Dogecoin has found a good bottom here at around 8 to 8.5 cents. And of course, if you look back in time as well, that's still a good 35 to 40% where it was before this pump ever occurred as well. So there's a lot of new holders here in Dogecoin that weren't here back before Twitter was bought by Elon Musk. So still very bullish. I don't see any other cryptocurrency that is up from where it was one month ago. So good stuff here by Dogecoin. In summary, I'll be looking for something like this to happen on Dogecoin for the price to break out of this triangle and head to our first price target here of 9.5 cents. If we can break through that with a lot of volume momentum, then the price target from that triangle should be 10.5 cents. But if we continue with some volume and some momentum, I'd be looking at 11 cents as my final price target here on Dogecoin, which would represent a nice pump of around 30% from where we are right now. So that's what I'm looking for. Of course, we could also break to the downside. And if we break to the downside, then the price target it then becomes around seven cents just by again this triangle that we're seeing here so those are the price levels that i'm looking at those are the trades i'll be looking to make here and that is all i have to say in this video so thank you so much for watching do let me know in the comments if you are holding any dogecoin be sure to like this video if you haven't done so already but again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video